be making bases. What's going on YouTube? Beat Making Basics back again with another dope video. If you're new to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe as well as give me a thumbs up and leave a comment on the video. So look, today we're going to be doing another subscriber slash viewer topic. Um, I have a pretty good question here. It's by Jose Ramirez. And um, he said, look, on this is the time of a video that I already posted here. You said this is why you get your own sounds. Can you teach us how to make our own sounds? Okay, can you do that, please? So that's what we're going to be covering in this video. And I'm actually going to do something a little bit different than what most people would tell you to do. Um, what we're going to be actually doing is using Alchemy, which is a sound bank within Logic Pro 10. And I'm going to be using the Quick Sampler. All right, so I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing, how we're going to be making our own unique sounds. And it's... it's you know, you're not really going to see this a whole lot online. Um, let's, just, let's just jump into it. So let's go ahead and pull up a software instrument track. We're going to go ahead for the instrument use alchemy. And essentially what we're going to be doing is using a concept called layering. OK, so what layering is, is basically where we would play a note, one note. OK, and we will play one note with like a particular instrument sound okay then we would create a whole new track play that same note but change up the instrument sound and you know just keep on adding until we create this you know enormous sound okay and this technique I would probably recommend only using maybe like three to four sounds maybe three to five max but um, after we do that then what we're gonna do is sample that layered sound into the quick sampler and it will save it into there and you have your own unique sound that you can use in your production so let's jump right into it so check this out let's go ahead and just find some sounds just random sounds let's just see you know, anything that just piques our interest all right so that's pretty hard so we'll just use that as our first sound and i got musical typing pulled up here just push command k to get that up So once you do that, you just quantize it like so. And really to make to save time, since you already had a note drawn in right here, what you could do is just push command D to double this and just hold down option and just drag this down. Boom. Got the same note length, same note being played and everything. The next step would be just to go in here to alchemy on this particular track and just change the actual sound. So now we'll find something else that, you know, works well. E. So let's see that how that sounds. I kind of like that sound right there. All right, bet. So as you can see, we have two different sounds here. We got this Amazonia and we got this Ah Breezes, you know, um, and you just want to keep uh, keep repeating the process. So we'll probably do this maybe two or three more times. So I come over here, go to Alchemy again. We're going to find another sound that we can layer this with. You can just audition it by coming over here to the uh, musical typing. <laughs> Let's just do something simple like that. This this right here. And as you can see, I can come over here and I can mix the sounds in. Alright, cool. Let's do maybe like two more. 
And since we're kind of like on a pad vibe, what you can also do is come over here to the search just to make this a little easier and just type in pad and it pulls up all the pads here. So, you know, say if you, it just depends on what type of instrument you want to create. Maybe if you want to create like a lead sound, you just put in lead and then, you know, layer a couple of different leads. So yeah, we'll put that in there. Hold down option, drag that down. And let's do one more. that you can just bring that down like so all right cool so we got our five sounds another cool thing that you could do to this is you can add effects to it you know you can pan stuff you can come in here and really get going you can mix certain things put this like all the way over here you could you know you could do do a whole lot of stuff put that all the way over that all the way over you put this over here, this over here, and this will be the star of the show. You can come in here and take out some of the uh, lows. You know what I'm saying? This different stuff. You can come in here just to, you know, manipulate the sounds past just being able to come into alchemy and just, you know, creating a preset. Um, Of course, you want to listen to stuff while you're doing it, but check it out. And then what you could do as well, you can put on uh, certain effects as well. Like, you know, I can come over here. Um, let's do some stock effects, you know what I'm saying? I can come over here, maybe put, um, put like a chorus or an ensemble. Let's put an ensemble on one of the sounds. You could even group these sounds together if you wanted to and then add effects to them. You know what I'm saying? So you can group them like this, go over here, the stereo out, bust it over here like so. And then I can come over here and put it. I can pitch it. You know, I can do a lot of stuff to this. Flanger. But let's say if that's what we want, okay? So what I would do after I get everything the way I want it is I'm just gonna highlight, you just make sure everything is highlighted and then do right click and then export, or excuse me, bounce in place, okay? You can name it whatever you want. Let's we'll call it breezy, breezy sound. And then we're gonna just bounce it in place. And what's that's gonna do is basically combine all of these different sounds into one file. So check this out. All right, bet. So now that we have that, what I can do now. Remember how I told you I was gonna use the um, quick sampler? I can take this and just drag this over here to this gray area, put it um, in quick sampler under original, and now I have this sample that I created. I can shorten it, I can extend it, I can reverse it. We can even do a reverse, let's check this out. So to say, say we like this sound, everything is good. 
So what you could do now is come over here to where it says factory default and just say save as. Once you have a save as, you pretty much just can name it whatever. I'll just say breezy sound. Pad, you know what I'm saying? And then voila. Now you have your own unique sound that you created using the sounds from Alchemy. All right, and I can pull this up at will whenever I want. So we could even delete everything we just created, right? And create a new software instrument track instead of pulling up Alchemy. We can go over here and create a quick sample track, stereo. And now let me go ahead and find my sound we just created. Breezy, so it's going to be in the bees. And voila, breezy sound pad. Pulls it right on up. And now I can play it like a regular instrument. You can do a lot of different things with it. But essentially, man, that's pretty much how you can create your own sounds. Again, also, you can always come in here and just use the Alchemy um, sound bank. And you can also save the same way. So I can come over here to a, whatever sound. Let's say this one note chord. Anything that you, you know, affect here. Turn off the, you know, the delay. Turn that down some. Or we turn it off. Right? If I want to, you know, change that up or save that as a preset, then I can just go save as. And we can just say one note chord B. Same difference, man. But this is just two, two creative ways that you can you know, make your own sounds. Of course, the first way is gonna be do layering. You can, and you don't have to even use just the uh, Alchemy sound bank. You can use other sound banks, like the default patch here. You can go over here to the library and use those sounds. You know, say if you want to um, create a unique piano sound, right? You can come over here and just blend in a couple of different sounds. quantize it and it kind of can get interesting too like say if you want to have like a unique piano sound I can come over here now and I can say alright I want something different um, you know yeah let me go ahead and go to this one alright bet so let me double that up I push the command D bring that down by holding our option and we'll go with a ghost piano on this one as well and again the cool thing about this is you have control i can turn this one down i can turn this one down i can pan it pan this ghost piano to the left or this one to the right now you got this sound You can even come over here and do something like this where you take this guy and play an octave lower. And now that's going to be your whole sound right there. Same difference, you can take these, highlight them all, right click, bounce in place, you can just say dope piano or piano you know yeah we'll call it dope piano voila you got a dope piano sample right here again take it put it over into the quick sampler and I can come over here and play this
and you have a unique piano sound, you know, like, so these are all different things you could do. I can come over here to that default factory default, save as, and I can just say, yo, this is going to be named dope piano. Bam. Now, anytime I want to bring that up, you know, you just go ahead and pull up a uh, quick sample of track. You know, and then just open that quick sample up and you just go right here and then scroll down until you find your sound. We call it dope piano. Boom. And actually, that is a pretty dope piano sound right there. So just to give you different ideas of how you can create your own sounds, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, we're out.